Welcome back to Railroads Online. I'm River, and we are here still at the Iron Works. This definitely seems like my favorite place, but I was over here loading things up, which is a little bit hard to see because I backed the... I, I filled those two up first. I didn't even look. I, I thought we had 34. My list is far from perfect if I don't update it, but looks pretty cool with our rail siding here. I, I like it. You know, it makes, makes me feel like I have a real railroad going. In any event, I thought, well, we need some steel pipes over at the oil. Since I have all this on here and the switches were all, we had come from this area. I thought, well, let me just pull in here. It'd be just as easy rather than switch the switches. And we don't have that many steel pipes as it turns out anyway. So we're just going to drag these up there. But first, we need to haul some oil, which I don't really have any idea how to do at this moment. So we will see see how this goes and I didn't flip that switch up ahead okay well let's well, it didn't give us any fuel either so let's uh yeah, let's just stop here I'm gonna just put four in there for now let that start heating up I did flip the switch to come out of here but I didn't flip it the reverse you know the in and out that we always have to flip with this design I guess the only I guess you could save yourself doing that if you started going to double track. And I have thought about the idea of double track, but then I thought, well, let me let's just proceed. Uh, you know, while we're here and while that thing's heating up, this one's fine. This takes us into the firewood. Really, we just have to flip this one and probably I don't know. It depends on what I left this one at, but I could see this first one's right. Yeah, these are both right. They're both leaning towards me. So we should be able to get right in there. Good. One less place to run around. So that when we have whenever we have these double have to go to place trains, which I'm not gonna do this in the future, but we just ran out of money. For those of you who didn't watch the full episode, we just sort of ran out of ran out of dollars. Now Oh, I didn't get I should have got another steel rails car, but you know what? It doesn't really matter. We didn't have enough anyway, so it's not going to make a huge difference. Obviously, we want to get one, but more, one more of those Tier 1 flat cars. I want to build a separate train for that. With about 10 cars on it, 10 or 11 cars, we would pull steel pipes. But part of our problem with all of this... Yeah, we got a little temperature starting to build. That's good. Part of our whole problem with this is just... It's a lot of work for a single player, right? Like, it was quite a bit of moving stuff around just to get this uh, ironworks going, which hey, is, is all good fun. It's all part of the game, right? But if you're expecting as a single player to be pumping out tons of oil, you probably got another thing coming. Because you know? it, 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 some of these trips just take a long time. It takes like 20 minutes to get one way from the coal mine. So if you figure you're going to run coal down here, and I haven't thought of any real way. Yeah, you could probably combine some trips, but really what we would need to maybe make it easier is some kind of a depot where you could drop things off at a certain location, like the sawmill. I might turn that into a depot where we could drop a bunch of coal off there. Then maybe you could start building, you know, consists of trains that make sense, you know, to where each thing needs to go. Now, another thing to point out, we have a few tools up here but we are producing extra tools so we will have to we will want to sell off some tools here in the future right, do we have actually have pressure yeah we do right, let's speed up a little bit maybe not quite that much on our turn here it's pretty smooth i haven't had any issues with the thing but these are not overly i'm, I'm concerned that some of these are going to be too tight for some of the bigger locomotives which is fine if we if we go that route now, the only thing, I guess, the difference in real life when you talk about being realistic, you know, sometimes it's not so bad to, quote, cheat a little bit because you know, in real life you'd have engineers who sized out the locomotive and you would make changes. You would, you know, have drawings of your tracks and know the radiuses and all that kind of thing. In other words, if we go up and buy a certain locomotive that doesn't work on our track, I mean, I'm not saying that engineers and, and businesses and train people haven't made such mistakes, but 
All right, so we need to let's spin around the back end since we're set up to do that anyway. It doesn't. Then we're going to need to flip these two switches before we can pull in. I'm assuming we pull into either side of the oil, right? I think it looked that way. And I'm also assuming this is a little bit like the iron where we have to cut it off at the right amount. I hope it's very easy to tell and not waste our precious precious crude oil here. But if we waste a little bit, you guys won't have to, hopefully, on your maps if I'm ahead of you. And, and we'll live and learn. It seems to be I've wasted a little bit, I think, <laughs> at a lot of the stations just trying to figure out you know, I know the first time I ever did the, the logs, I wasted a couple logs not knowing it had to be, like, real close. Same thing with the distance away. Now, it doesn't matter too much at the logging camp because you get unlimited stuff. But. When you think about this, does it all stem from the logs? Like, we bring logs up there, they get turned into stuff, which gets turned into other stuff, which gets turned into more stuff. But it really does kind of... I mean, I understand that we have an iron mine, but the iron mine doesn't work unless you bring lumber and beams to it. So in a sense, you could almost look at it like you're converting lumber and beams into iron ore. And then those you have to take to the smelter... Might as well go flip this one before I forget. We'll take a little look at this thing. To... I think there was like two oil spouts in on each side, right? Yeah, so you could load it either way. Okay, so it looks like we could turn that thing off. Looks like there's a valve, so I guess we flip it out and then we turn it on. And then and it looks like we could do two cars at a time, so that's kind of convenient. But anyway, yeah, what I was saying too is like it just we turn lumber into everything else, which is kind of interesting. And by the time you get to this point, <laughs> if it's been, you know, a number of steps that had to be taken, it's not not a direct line. We'll we'll get into all the the logistics soon. You know? Like I said, we're gonna have to we're gonna get this oil going, and then we're gonna start making some improvements to everything. Cause then I'll feel, but I've got a good feel for how much of everything. What like one of the last things I really would like to. Well, yeah, probably this will be one more thing I need to know. I don't think there's too much more, but how much I lost faith in my chart. Tell me exactly how many oils we can crude oils we can carry in this thing. Now, we don't need this to carry the oil away. We get oil barrels, which needs the stake bodies that we haul the cordwood in, which is kind of fine with me because the cordwood is a train in its own right, right? So we can, like I have, I think, six cars on there now, and that would be, that's, from what it looks like, we can carry like 24 oil, so I don't. I think we could just use that. The same. Ooh, no, reverse. Put a little brake on. Yeah. So let's see. I guess we need to be right over the. I'm gonna try to stop right on that pipe. Oops. Not this one. We'll go to the second one. See if we can load two. Always a little hard to see. Brake action. Probably went a little bit past it. Let's go climb up there and see what it looks like. Yeah, three feet. Okay, so now we can't we can't do two at a time. So let's. Uh, what we want to do here. I like marking things on the same side that they're in. That's been one of my conventions that I haven't talked about too much. Let's go ahead from over here. Delete that piece, right? I'm going to come here. I don't anticipate these trains being super long. Like I said, if nothing else, it's 
because I'm a single player, but we'll, we'll at least fill that in. to go right on the thing, but I know you'll also go right past it. There we go. So that should give us, once we get this in right in the right place, so we said about three feet, so we would want to be, what, three feet back, right? That is awful close. I think that would, wow, you know what the other thing we need to worry about is are we the right distance even? I probably should have... What, what do we do? Drag up and down. Oh, let's see if we can do it this way. We're holding that steady, it's kind of... Yeah, I think we need to move this whole track over, which doesn't really surprise me. And Let's see if we can't figure out to where, right? So if we were going to say, I mean, I would want the center to be almost right where the rail is now, right? Because if this is, I'm assuming the edge of the train is just hanging over a little bit, right? I'm thinking that if we came in to where the center of this rail was, Let's do, I just want to do a piece of track. So you, will you not, okay, it's too long. Yeah, so you will go like this. All right, and then let's, okay, so that's where it needs to be. Let's back this guy back up. That won't hurt anything, I hope. <laughs> I can't imagine. I mean, there could be a collision on this thing, right? Is there? Nothing else, we should just swing it back closed if it was... Okay, well, we couldn't have expected it to go too well, right? And we should have probably checked this, but we didn't really have any oil cars to see exactly how the whole system worked. So now that we do, we just have to have a little bit of a semi-ugly... It's called a swing out. I'll run some gravel on the other side from that switch up there. It looks that'll look nice, right? We'll just swing it. Get off of this switched part altogether, so we can redo right from the switch between the switches. just in case. Probably make an argument to go back a little bit further, but I'm sure this will be okay. I don't need to move over that far, but having this dirt won't look bad either, or this gravel won't look bad my opinion. It's a pretty long stretch. So let's get rid of, sometimes it's hard to tell where that, I think this is the first, yeah, that's the first non. I 
That looked like a thing there. <laughs> that rock, it caught my eye. The, the shadow plus the rock kind of almost made me think of one of those things was in the in the road. More little piece right here. Yeah, that's the switch. I think what I'll do, let's see how we do. Let me come from this one since that's our mark, right? And, I, and I'll try to make it real straight right past here. Yeah, that, that looks pretty pretty darn close enough just from tying it up. All right, so we should be able to just do one, one straightish piece to get us down to the ground. rest will just do start slight turn there and have to straighten itself back out so I want to line itself up at the least yeah How's that look? Yeah, you know, it's kind of what I expected it to have to do. Would be better if it was perfectly straight, but I'd live with it for sure. So that one's got to go, and that one's got to go. And does this one look? Let's just redo that one because it looked like it was kind of taking a funny turn. And... Start the slight turn on this side a little earlier, maybe. I think one of the tricks to this, if you can do it, and it's a lot harder for my brain than I would have thought, is to... Yeah, there we go. I think that's probably screwed that up. Yeah, it definitely did. We'll bring that straight in and see what it looks like. It's to not turn so much with your mouse hand. And, and yeah, so that's definitely a little bit too sharp. That's all right. I realized that I think we can get rid of that piece. All right. And that, if we can meet up with that, I think that'll be pretty reasonable if we can do that a little smoother than we just did one let's make that a little bit straighter maybe cheat it a little bit that way what well, sometimes the hardest thing is just moving the mouse one pixel <laughs> you know, like just that little tiny bit does make a difference in the way these tracks look. There we go. I think that looks nice. Now, having left this out, I'm assuming we're not losing any crude oil, right? I did, should probably have checked that. No, no, I think we have to turn that valve up there, which is excellent. Now, why wouldn't you have put these so that two of them line right up? Unless I'm missing something, are we not supposed to fill it? Let's take a little bit better look at this. No, you... Where is it? No, that looks like some kind of pressure relief valve. Or... Yeah, no, you would think you'd put it right in there, so we'll see. Put a little more wood in here just to heat the fire up for us. No idea how long this takes. Now, according to the chart that I have limited faith in, though obviously that's not a disparagement to the person who made it. They could have rebalanced this at any point, and I just don't know it because I have never gotten this far. I 
but we should be getting sixteen dollars each for we're moving right along there why wouldn't you make this so two cars could be filled up exactly at once right I should have put a marker. I didn't put a marker. The whole... Well, I guess there's... I don't know. Would have been a little hard to put a marker, but we could have put a marker. Now, this this looks goofy. Is this going to cause a problem that we're not on the ground now? Right? Because we are raised up. Is that going to cause... Well, we are right dead on it as far as that goes. So let's just do... Right, is this... Right, are we... Can we tell? All right, let's just close it. Okay. Well... I forget, even though we just kind of looked. Well, what, what, how many crew did I have? Yeah, 54. So that didn't didn't seem to... Oh, oh, do we have another? Oh, okay, so we have a little handle on there to make it easier to flip that thing out. Well, we didn't waste any. Don't see the crude oil going down over there. I don't see anything visually happening. Right, let's turn this back off. See if we can't. Is there is there going to be another valve someplace? No. If there was going to be a valve, you'd think it would be on that pipe there. Oh, is there something up here? That's. Oh, can we even go up there? I guess it's not a. Should be allowed up there though. It is. Yeah, we, you would think. Now there is some kind of a control thing here. Let's go see if there's something in there that we can't see because it looks dark. No. Hmm. I mean, do you think it's just not going in because we're too high up? Well, let's lower this thing back down and and try that because it's not making a lot of sense to me that we would turn that thing on and it wouldn't go. I don't mind. Oops. Yeah, I don't mind the idea. It's the wrong button. Let's back up again. Especially why we still have some heat. We'll do the same thing all over again, except we're going to do it down on the ground level by the time we get to that filler spout or this filler spout. And you th oh, even if it mattered which tank was which, which I don't see any indication that that would matter, you would think that it would be... the front tank would go to the one we're on, right? So, but again, I, I don't see any indication that the game cares about that. It's not like there's two, two of those, like, one out of a thousand things. All right. Nothing like doing things for the third time. This guy, Musty One, if you ever haven't watched any of his videos, definitely worth watching. Let me get rid of all of this. Uh, not really. You know what? I might leave that one... Well, it's still kind of it's kind of close, isn't it? Yeah, let's get rid of it. All this nice looking work we just did, <laughs> and I really don't even think that this is necessarily our problem. All right, I think we'll. 
And one more back. I think if we start here, that'll be good enough. All right, well, I think at 1% grade, you could... Oops. Yeah, hopefully we didn't cause a problem right there again. Let's get rid of this real quick. Now, I can't really see. We don't have a marker, but we still... But I do have... Yeah, let's... Click here, just where we can see. And then I'm going to do... Well, you know what? Let's do a half a percent grade. See where that takes us. And we'll try to leave this right in the center. Do we get to the ground by then? No. All right, 0.75, where does that leave us? I can still see it. Yes, yeah, 0.75 on that side, but I don't think we're going to get away with... 0.75 on this side. So let's do G. And I tried to hold that pretty straight. Oh, you know what? We're let's see what one percent up looks like. Yeah, that might be pretty good. Yeah, I think especially if we. Right, because we could tell from this one when it matched up. Yeah, like right there. Would be close enough, I think, to right. That makes sense. So we should be able to go flat here and then match up yeah, pretty nicely. Right, so now we'll try this again. Like we're pretty much straight underneath of that. Yeah, we should have should have definitely done that part from the very beginning. Oh, good boy. Yeah, we should probably start cheating back a little bit. See if we can't match up with this guy nicely. It's a little sharp, but I don't think that's a problem. Yeah, so let's see. If it's not that, I'm really at a bit of a loss. I mean, unless my tanker, I can't imagine that it wouldn't take the crude oil. I might have to go investigate if we don't get it this time. Now, I do, one thing I do like about this is if you ever leave the cars here, these cars are a prime suspect to leave here, right? The only real question is, does it make sense to come back here and drop them off in our normal flow of things, right? Or would it just make more sense to leave them someplace else because you got to head that way anyhow? Didn't really, you don't really think of yourself as being that much further in the air. You really kind of are, aren't you? Go nice and slow. Hopefully we can actually see. I was going to say, we're downhill. We should be able to slide forward just that little bit. All right. Well, that seems like it's pretty close from that angle. 
Yeah, I mean, we're off a little tiny bit, but you would think it would work, right? Let's see. Doesn't make sense. See, like this, why wouldn't you make those so they both line up? Yeah, I have no idea why the oil wouldn't go in here. Go in that other... These, these... All right, like it could go in there. <laughs> like I said, this, it seems more like a... Maybe that's it, like I just have them in the wrong. And uh, it's not, it's. Or, and we can try to go a foot backwards. So that's really being a bit nitpicky there. I'll just try to move back to that plank. That that one right there. That. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. That's, uh, that was one of those cases where we were just truly fighting it you know and if that's not going well we didn't have the thing perfectly straight but yeah i mean are they just saying that that's not over top of the hole let's let's straighten this thing out a little bit more All right now will we be over the hole if we pulled for it certainly looks like we'd be close enough so let's just take the brake off we should slide forward that little bit more right I mean that looks that looks like it should work now every other thing in the game if it's not lined up you just dump the stuff on the ground so Hmm, let me look into it, and I'll be right back. Any guess on how many times exactly I went right past this, quote, main valve here? <laughs> right, so let's turn that on. I did turn the one up top off so that we could see. But, yeah, that certainly looks like it should fill up. And then other people did talk about having to put it on the ground. Yep, there we go, 53. Now let's see, how much do we hold? 12. Oh, shoot. Is it filling up that fast? Good lord. Are we wasting it all? Come on. Get on the thing. Yes, we just wasted a ton of fuel. Boy, that was way quick. I just wanted to hop down because I know from... Yeah, I couldn't really see, right? And then by that fast, it was all filled up. So I think we want to do a smaller percentage. Boy, that's a bummer. That's a That's a lot of fuel to lose. Like I said, live and learn. All right, so let's pull forward. Well, yeah, let me do something else before we even pull forward. I'm going to redo our thing so that we know it's out of the way, our markers. All right, because I want to get a good marker on this one to... So we'll have it pull a little further off than we would, just so we know it won't hit. Then I'm assuming the marks will be good on this side, too. So we'll put a couple of them down, and we are dead right in the right spot. This one's probably as critical as any other. 
Yeah, that's that's a shame we lost all that oil. Crude oil. Yeah, I'm clearly kind of wanting a... I don't mind having those markers on this side, but because this is such a precision needing thing, I'm thinking it really won't hurt my feelings to have it over here as well. Again, the reason for having it up out of the ground is just so we can see them a little better. In this case, it might give a little bit of a unique look to the whole thing, right? Yeah, I mean, it's <laughs> dips down in there, back to the original turf. All right, and the reason for doing that more than anything is because I can't really put a marker on that other side. And this marker will probably help me more than you would think with getting it lined up even on a cart that's not exactly in the right spot because right, is that one well, I'll do one more just for the sake of though I do have them on the other side at that point We need some more fire. I think I'm going to put four in because we're just about done here. So we'll get it heated up for our trip out of here. But we do still need to throw some latches. Yeah, that, that filled up way faster than I thought it would, to be honest. Oops, that's good. Yeah, so I don't know. It's going to be easier to see this mark or, or this. I think it might be easier just to see right when that that's pretty close at least we got some of it in <laughs> yeah there we go I don't these lids don't seem to well it did Should, we don't want any of it sloshing back out right all right so this valve's still on now maybe the trick too Let's see, let's turn this one down to like, right, because then we could just throw the other one fully, like 15%, right? Let's just see how long that takes to fill this one, All right? So then we could just throw that to 100%. Yeah, there you go. So like you could, I mean, you could obviously up that from 15%, but you could easily throttle that would be the way to do that. Good. Well, we learned. And next time we'll do better. And we also now know that the chart was right. We can hold 12 in each one. So we can have a little more faith in our chart. Here we go. We're at zero. So that still didn't take very long when you think about it. Let's shut off both of the valves out of a... And then I guess to be proper we would... Oops. Swing that out of the way. Yeah. I wonder if that handle helps. It seems like it's easier to not use the handle. Let's flip this over. I heard a noise. What? Say open, close, and yeah, okay. Just trying to do it too literally. All right, there we go. Good, yeah, so definitely try to throttle that is my advice because otherwise it's just going to go so fast you can't really keep track of what's happening. I might even take it down to 10%. Well, there we go. I think we're ready to go. Let me go flip this one switch, or do I just run it? Let's run out there maybe and flip them all. So we are going over to the oil thing for the very first time, which was the whole goal. I'm hoping still to make a run up and get some some lumber down here which is going to require a little bit more thought uh, you know what? we'll just flip that one and this one's flipped in the right direction 
really like it's been a goal <laughs> for quite a few of these episodes to get this oil and I keep getting distracted and I feel like, you know, I'm just trying to plug ahead and not even doing things the smartest way. I'm not really, you know, sitting down to enjoy the game as much as, and build things and just kind of do whatever makes the most sense. Uh, do we want, no, I think we're good. We're good with water. We're going to have to stop right up here anyway, so I'll throw a little more fuel. Let's make sure everybody's coming with us. So we're still not going to have oil right now because we have to go get some lumber. But once we get up there, we'll... Let's see, we have 12 plus 9, we'll have 21, and then we only have like 20 pipes, so... That's okay, because then we can bring... Like the lumber, we get 6 on a car. We can talk about our, our lumber train and the fact that we stole some cars from it. I want to get that back up to 13 for the longer trips, but we also need to get a place to park all those cars up by the sawmill. But for the time being, do I go up and buy a few more cars? How many would we want to bring down here? It's, I wrote down that it holds 24 lumber, so I'm assuming that's accurate. That would be four cars. Then we'll have another 20, so I'm thinking we bring down at least seven cars of lumber assuming that we have like you know 20 to go which would mean like if we, oh, oh stop 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 there we go so you get the talk in it and so that's oh no no that, that one stays straight sorry what stay straight you want to go yeah, one thing I'm noticing, if these are set up to go straight through, they should be the opposite. So that's, like, I could tell one of those is wrong up there. Like, the first one's pointing us towards this direction, but the second one's turning us back into the, into the ironworks. Just so you know, it's also, I think I may have mentioned this, it's not my intention to run this train with this consist normally. This is just a... Like normally I'll go pick up whatever oil, crude oil we have, and just take it straight over there. And then we'll take steel pipes over there, fill it all up. Then I'll bring lumber down. So I do plan on separate trains to do this in the long run. One of the problems being these oil tankers are quite expensive at $1,500 apiece. All right, so let's uh, throw four more in. Should be really more than we want in there it's not that long of a trip break now, i have no idea if we're switched right to pull in right up there now the one that goes right through i think is the oil drop off right now you would think if we had these you could have some kind of like a setup in the future where you would unload these with some sort of a pump so I think we just do it on like a platform looking thing. We'll see. Like if you went through, I mean, I think that was, that was a nice, we didn't actually have a pump, but you don't really need a pump on that side. You could build those oil things up a little bit higher and it would all be gravity fed. I don't, I doubt that it would really work on a gravity feed system like we just did it because if you only had a little bit out of a thousand in that tank, it's, it's really not the height of the fluid. It's not going to be very high. Now, then again, maybe the inside of the tank is a false bottom, right? So the, we could pretend that the tank itself is up higher in there and it's just like sided with wood as opposed to a wood tank that goes all the way to the ground. Am I being too, too particular about my... <laughs> I do that to movies, too, where I'm nitpick on the movie and the details of it. That's the nice gradual slope we made here and I think it looks pretty good. It's you know not unrealistic. Everybody still coming with us? No, no drastic track issues. Give it a little more juice. steepest parts coming up right over here but 
but it's nice that we got a lot of the height with this, you know, because you could really get a good run even if your train wasn't super powerful. Try to just run up the hill. like this is flipped the wrong way of course yeah I think we definitely want to go in that way so I think we're gonna this is kind of a big design flaw <laughs> we're really gonna want to flip this yeah and this by the way is a pretty steep slope down there Let's go in here while we're doing this. So it's, you know, I think this is where the the Betsy wouldn't be able to do that in real life. If it can do this, that's just an opinion, not a uh, statement of fact. Yeah, so I think I got a suggestion that you could pull right through straight. I'm not sure exactly, and it would be shorter. I'm not sure. Yeah, so another suggestion, and I thought about this after the fact that these pipes are going to appear right here. So we don't want this here. And I, and I thought about that after I built this. Uh, it's, it's probably... We could probably push it a little bit further, right? Let's, we'll see. I don't want to mess with the pipes too much either. This I don't think is really going to do us much good. And let's see if we can't do a... Part of the problem with these is we can only make them so short. Right? I don't really necessarily want you that high. Did I do constant grade? I don't want constant grade. Because then I can't. Can't change the grade on it. All right, we'll see if that's... There we go. Let's go back to... That as short as I can. And then we'll demolish this. Yeah, I mean, that's going to serve its purpose. I think we'll be okay here, dropping off these steel pipes. Looks like we'll be able to get two cars in at a time. And I did think about this when I actually was loading. Man, that doesn't look very good, does it? Let's take that. Yeah, I think we were... Yeah, I'm going to get rid of one more... Yeah, and then we'll go. Yeah. <laughs> now I have something going on the other end. I don't think we're too far away. Hopefully that won't. Drop the stuff on the ground. Keep diddly dallying. We're definitely not going to get any. Eh, it's a little smoother. It's not perfectly straight, but. All right. Oh, so we, what we need to check is are we good down here? Yeah, this switch is good for us to pull right past. We might as well get all these lined up. So when we do finally come back out of here, which won't take long, we are switched the right way there. Yep, we're switched to accept us. So we're going to have to pull around that turn, and we can back back in, and then this one's set to back in. We'll have to flip that over as we pull past, after we pull past. Then we'll have to bring some lumber down here, see how that goes. And then 
And this one we should check or should have checked. I think we left them the right way. Right now it's it's having us if we try to remember this, come back up the pickup, which is fine. See how much fire do we have left? None, but we got plenty of temperature. So let's give this a good. Yeah, see, that's where I think you would just get real slip in real life. I think, you know, with all those heavy steel pipes on the back there, I don't think you would really with this little locomotive. And I think it's just it's this thing could be as powerful as as any other locomotive in the world, but it's just not that heavy to give you the friction you need to to really pull forward in my opinion. Can we unload two of these at a time? Not that I'm, I'm not looking to push it after losing. And I don't see any spout. I think we just dump it onto that thing, which... You would think in the, on the bottom of the cart you would have a have had a Thing. I don't know how they would have emptied it out in those days. Might as well pull all the way up to the... I think we will be able to unload two. Pull right up to the edge and assume that the whole thing is a good... Yeah, that should be... Right, we have zero. Let's give her a shot. Yep, I see little drips coming out. That's funny. Yep. Good. We have crude oil here. That should be 12 if it none missed. Yep, none missed. Plus another 9 will give us 21, which is fine. Yep, and we do get a little more money. Yeah, not, not not making us rich men, but all right. Well, now we have to deal with the pipes, and unfortunately, we have those two. It's going to be. Can we push? I'm kind of curious to see what happens when we push past there. It looks like we're running out of time. We're not going to get oil done this episode, are we? But we'll get our crude oil delivery, and we'll have tested out these tracks. I'll head back. Yeah, I should fill in that hole a little bit there. Huh? Make it look a little nicer. I'll head back and get some lumber. Probably after the episode here. And just come down here. We could start the next episode having gotten oil. And I think the next episode should probably be a construction episode. Because we don't really have a good way of getting from here to the depot. So I would like to improve that. And in addition, we need to come up with a place to park these cars. Maybe that's what we'll do in the very beginning of it. Yeah, so I got that comment. I'm not 100% sure, but they said when you come in the entrance, would it be better to go down the middle one? I don't know. I don't, I don't see where what I have here is... Is that bad one way or the other, right? I'm definitely going to take out a couple of those trees before this is. I think I can see that we're just past it. All right, so we're going to even have a lot longer cars. So we're going to really also don't mind the idea of better sight on this. Switch up here. Let's go check it out. Make sure it's flipped. It needs to go through the, yep, yeah, through the center or through the pickup. Because right, that's the way the other one's flipped. I can head right back out. Let's get rid of you just because you're close. I think I missed a couple of those. Well, for better or for worse. I think we've made some good progress today in getting some knowledge under our belts when it comes to the crude oil. I think I'm just 
just gonna this, these will get in the way eventually of being able to see when we back in. dealing with the uh, lumber if nothing else even if it doesn't mess us up for other stuff Ooh. I can see where those trees are going in the long run I'm going to get rid of this clump out here all of the ones in front of that, and that'll give us a really nice ability to see right around the, the chute, right? Certainly enough for right now. All right, so now we need to flip this switch to go back in there, right? Let's see. See how this works. Backwards, yeah, we're out of heat. We need to throw some more heat in there. Now we're doing the I think this will work fine. I, I think maybe some trees on this tree on the other side is a tiny bit annoying there, huh? All right. <laughs> Hello, tree. Get rid of a couple extra ones of those. But other than that, I'm liking it. I think it, it'll work. You know, it's basic. I don't under, you know, there's no, I don't think there's any other real way to do this, unfortunately, without having to back in and, you know, we can easily back back out that way and drop off some, some of these cars. We gotta be a little careful here because we have no markers. Yeah, and this is uh Well we'll be a little bit limited in how far we could pull in. I wonder if these are gonna be I can see the shadows. That's really nice when we get the right shadow, right? So let's see. I don't think we're going to get three in there, are we? I don't want to take the chance. We could, you know, it might be possible, but now that we're right here. There we go. So we're getting some steel pipes. Yeah, watch out. You can get stuck in those steel pipes. I'm not sure how I managed it. Maybe it was some one-off fluky thing, but... Now the other question is, can we... Yeah, see those pipes are lining up right there. I bet you there's another stack right here. So that should probably, or there might be another stack. I think we could back this straight up. So we could actually do three at a time, even if we can't, like, unload them at three at a time, right? Because we got enough going past the idea that I, I was going to do here, like... Can't really see, but we'll, we don't really have the help of a shadow, so let's. Oh, I should have made some marks, huh? Because that wasn't a really nice spot. What was that? All right, good. So we can get all three of those without having to do the thing. And then I'm really curious. Yeah, can I? Yeah, it does. It did let me. Now the question is, though, can I put one here? Hmm. Probably could if I pulled forward. Yeah, so I could put a bit of a stop right there. I just don't want to flip my train up in the air. Well, there we go, guys. I think this is going to be enough for this episode. I think it's about the hour mark. But we got the steel pipes up here, 20 of them. 
And 21 crude oil, unfortunately not 54 crude oil, or, well, 36 anyway, so we lived and learned on that one. All right, well, there you go, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the episode, and I will hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Take care of yourselves, and bye-bye.